Would you do me a favor and give a warm Jesus thank you to Believer's Heart for me this morning? I'm really thankful for that group. And I asked them to come on tour with me for some of my tour engagements because it's hard these days to find someone who really has a true heart for the ministry and a true heart to serve God. A lot of times, people, we go out to see programs and what we're seeing are shows. This is not a show. I am a minister in all rights. I'm an ordained minister, I'm a musical minister, and I'm a minister of the heart. And if you have a need, I can meet you at my hospital, which is down here at the altar. And I know the doctor on staff there. And I know he's never lost a patient. And Cook Ministries will not, cannot, must not let the devil in the door. So when these young people got up here to sing, believe me, they've been tested, they've been tried, and they're true. And I want to thank you. My sister talked about us having to go to the emergency room last night. I am the cause of that. Uh, and uh, I'm here this morning with a great testimony. The scripture says in the fourth book of Psalms, enter the gates with thanksgiving. In the ninth book of Psalms, it says, enter into his courts with praise. In the 15th chapter of Psalms, it says, lift up your voice. In the 17th chapter of Psalms, it says, Let us bring instruments that may make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And the first thing that the devil will want to do is rob you of your instrument. When I was little, how many remember the Cook family singers? Well, praise the Lord. I'm glad to see we're not all of them. When I was little, any time that any of us little kids in the group got sick, the first thing that came out was black drum. You remember, brother? And we always said, Lord, let us pray. And we were talking about this yesterday. And I said to myself, you know, my great-grandmother, God rest her soul, we hated hated, hated every time that we were on tour during the summer. We had to go and see my great-grandmother. And the first thing that she would do when we would walk in the door is she would open our lip and give us two teaspoons of black girl. Because if we were sick, we weren't giving it to her. And we were going to leave there a lot cleaner than we came. <laughs> But those were the good old days. Those were the times that you knew that people really cared. And if she didn't care, <laughs> we were in trouble. And I told them last night, I said, you know, it wasn't so much a danger to our health, it was more a danger to her health. Because after she did that to us kids, we all immediately went out back and was devising ways that we could kill her. <laughs> so that we didn't have to do that again. But we loved her. And you see, that's the same way with the love of Jesus. Sometimes we don't like what Jesus has in store for our lives. But we know he's doing it for our greater need, for our greater good. Where are you going to find an attorney, a banker, an accountant that's going to look out for you the way that Jesus does? He knows you. Every need is supplied. Every single need. And the devil told me a few days ago, he says, you're not going to Lexington and to Ashburn. 
He says, I'm going to rob you of your tool. And that was my voice. And last night, yesterday, and my, my whole staff was here, and they can tell you, I could not carry a tune in a bucket from here to the door because my tonsils are inflamed. But the doctor came in and she says, you know, she says, I think we can help you. I think we can help you. And I sat there and I kind of smiled at her and I says, if you can't, I know somebody who can. And he's going to, whether you do or not. Because when you have given yourself and you have given a commitment to God, your efforts, if it's really on serving the Lord, your efforts are never going to return the Lord. Right. Amen? Amen? Now I heard that this is a church again. Amen? amen. 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 So when I say amen, amen. No, no, no. we got to do that again. When I say amen, amen. now that's a yeah. Do we have any Baptists? Do we have any Presbyterians? We can worship, y'all. We can worship without scaring. Amen? Amen. All right, now. But you know what? The greatest thing of all is when you know that you've been touched of the master's hand. It's the sweetest, sweetest anointing that anyone can receive. So worship with me. The people's batteries got me on a chain and it was harder than the other days were. To waste much time 